Bike Racers, it's Dave from RC Engine Building here in El Cajon, California. If you remember me, I was doing the Lucas Oil Modified project, and one of the special things about this particular Modified is that we were trying to migrate uh, the new LS uh, family engine, which is a small block Chevy, into uh, our series, and we have successfully done that. Um, the unit has been uh, uh, very, very trouble free, uh, produces uh, easy horsepower, and uh, of course burning on 91 octane. Um, one of the things that uh, we wanted to also do after we got this migrated into the series is we also wanted to add fuel injection. Uh, we have shopped around and have gotten some support from competition cams and uh, we now have a fast unit on here which is a throttle body type injection system. Um, we have ran it uh, here in the shop and it's uh, been, been very, very nice. It does have a, an ECM, obviously, for programming, and uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. But here's the unit right here. This is a typical 4150 flange type throttle body. Uh, the good thing about it is, uh, even though we're trying to get the uh, LQ9 migrated into circle track racing, it will also uh, fit on manifolds with 4150 flange uh, and obviously uh, uh, feed the uh, Generation 1 engine. Um, what comes with this unit is you got the throttle body, you have a regulator, and uh, mounted in the back uh, is, a, is an inline fuel pump of 100 PSI. We are trying to get uh, a unit together that will mount in the fuel cell, uh, but we have not gotten that far yet. So uh, what happens with this regulator, that 100 PSI uh, gets regulated down to about uh, 40 or 50 pounds, and uh, that's going to be enough with this particular unit to produce somewhere between... 450 to 650 horsepower. Uh, one of the special things um, about uh, having the electric fuel pump is we got an oil pressure sw uh, shutoff switch here which goes to the fuel pump in case of uh, an accident it will shut that fuel off so it, it's very very safe um, people get concerned about it uh, but tech officials will need to check and make sure that this is functional and operating for all of our safety. One of the really nice things that uh, that the fuel injection has to offer is, uh, me being an engine builder, when I check my, my uh, throttle at, at every race, and uh, I don't really like to pump a bunch of fuel into the engine, and it has made it very nice that you can check your throttle and not uh, pump a bunch of fuel into the throat of the uh, intake manifold, so that's a really, really nice feature. Um, so we're going to start up the engine here in a minute, um, but what I want to do is I, I want to show you where the controller is. Um, so, uh, you can see how small it is. Uh, it's a self-tuning type controller, and um, it's uh, very easy to program. Uh, probably take, uh, for most of us, probably uh, 15 to 30 minutes to uh, program. Um, it's very compact. Uh, as you can see, it's, it fits in the cockpit of the race car. It's pretty much tucked out of the way and what have you. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fire up the engine. Um, it's, uh, it's been a few days since we fired it so I'm going to have to pre-prime it and uh, we'll give it a little listen to. So let me give it a little prime here. Once we've primed the engine what that does is that allows this switch to, uh, to operate the uh, fuel pump. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on and and fire it up for a minute. Here we go. Okay, so there you have it. Um, 
I'd like to show you the handheld that comes with this unit. Um, these units uh, you can buy from us here at RC Engines um, for about $19.95. Uh, but this is the little handheld that you have right here. Uh, this actually plugs in uh, onto the ECM with this uh, little connector right here. It's very simple to plug in and then a, a, a power source. And uh, you, you can just uh, scroll through and uh, do all your programming. It's very minimal. Again, this has got a wideband oxygen sensor on it, um, so it, it's self-tuning. Uh, we figure somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 25 laps, uh, it'll start putting in numbers, uh, fuel mixture numbers, uh, that is uh, meaningful and uh, will self-tune and, and keep it under control. Um, so between the fuel injection and the 91 octane and the LS family LQ9, um, this is such a great package to have for circle track racing. Um, we're using unleaded fuel and we're just really heading towards uh, a very efficient race package for everybody. So uh, a lot of you need to really give a think when it's time for you to uh, do a new engine, you really ought to consider building one of these. They're, they're very, very, very nice. So uh, with that being said, um, I'd like to go ahead and close out. And of course, um, all of this stuff uh, is not done without sponsorship. Uh, one of the things I'd like to do is uh, thank Lucas Oil for allowing me to do this. Uh, they have actually written in the rules that we're going to be testing for this uh, fuel injection. Uh, the, the, the choice of injection has been Competition Cam's FAST system. Um, I've been working with them very closely on this, and I would like to personally thank um, Kevin Feeney, uh, Brian Reese, and David Page for working with me on this. They've been very courteous and outgoing and, and supportive of me doing this, and I, I'd re really like to thank them. Um, on top of that, I would also again like to thank uh, Lucas Oil uh, for supporting me and trying to uh, migrate efficiency and uh, cleaner exhaust and what have you uh, into circle track racing, especially at our level, uh, the Saturday night local racer. Um, with that being said, uh, I also have my own personal sponsors. I've got Powder One that has done our, our chassis. You can see it's been quite a change since uh, we, we, were, we built it a year ago. Uh, I've got Thunderbird Water Jet Service here. Uh, that, that cuts all of our brackets and what have you for us. And uh, my good friend, uh, Ben Strader at EFI University. Uh, I'm so pleased to have him behind my back and, and helping me along to try and do this transition with fuel injection. Of course, there's San Diego Engine Balancing and RC Engines. And uh, my lovely wife, uh, Dancing, she's always supportive of my racing. And uh, we just got a really, really nice package here. And uh, everybody really needs to take a look at uh, thinking about using these in circle track racing. So uh, with that, um, I'll let you guys know we're heading out to uh, Havasu 95 Speedway um, for our first race with this package. And uh, I'll get back to you and let you know how it goes, but we're really looking forward to it. Okay, we'll see you later.